Okay, so we're gonna do express. Uh, first things first, make directory. Let's name it express. CD express. CD express. There it is. We'll go npm init. in there. Next we're gonna um, npm install express. Oh, never mind. I installed it globally, so it's npm install express. Let's make it globally. Don't make a dependency. npm install express. I erred. Uh, whatever. Touch app.js. Dale SPL that's all command for that some beach so oh, don't worry about it okay let's go look at the docs I saw it globally add some water let's get it started hello world Okay, so we look at the docs, it'll be this stuff. That'll be the first thing. Let's try it. Node JS. And it should be localhost 3000. Alright, my server is working. Okay, I got my server working. Um, let's create a route. The route would be uh, hi. No, it should be star slash star, and then let's we'll call this the 404 error page not found. Let's do that first. Okay, let's do one. Can I get one? So I didn't do that right. No, it's no slash. Sorry. Do a little debugging. And yeah, should work now. Oh, come on. No demon app.js. I hope I have it installed. If not, I gotta install it. Yes! No demon. Alright. Uh, if you're wondering, um, you can download no demon. No demand. 
no demand. It's really cool. It's like Node, but refreshed every time. So all you do is um npm install slash tac g no demand right here, and then it auto refreshes every time you change something on your uh, Node app. So I'm just playing with Express, and we're playing. I'm just showing you how to create routes right now. Um, let's create another route. Copy and paste this. Uh, we'll create a new route. Make sure this one's last because that's star. Star means like everything. Let's call this bye. And when then we'll call this guy bye bye. Bye bye. That should be working. Uh, and then bye. So it says bye bye. Cool. So these are routes. So I'll tell you how to do routes. So it's basically just copy that and copy this. And then yeah, you got your um, express working. So I'll leave that under the slide or the this tutorial whatever. so sorry about the bug uh, how do you save it locally how do you look it up Oh, it's save dev. Oh, so it's just npm install the package name express and save dev. Uh, let me try that. Let's kill this guy. So it was npm install express. Should like this. Um, it's not working for me. I gotta do things globally, apparently. Well, just install your machine globally. Don't don't worry about it, cause I I did it globally, and uh, that's yeah, bug for me. So if you're on Mac, it's just sudo npm. But since I'm on PC, just npm. Not npm. I'm no demon. App.js. Take this back. We're running at the port 3000. So it's at port 3000. If you want to do it like um, on the interweb, the internet, put it 80. And then this is like your server. So this is like a few scripts and you already have like a backend server. So this is like backend right? It's already serving things. So Express is like the framework on top of the thing. There's your error how the errors out. No, eh, not really. I just leave it in. So you know like there's still issues with like Windows and sometimes things that happen and then you install it globally. So just install it globally, not a big problem. I can't do apparently, you know, local dev doesn't like me. Okay, now what we do? Um, let's create like, for example, you know, um, what if you have like, like a subreddit? So you want like a lot of different reddits, stuff like that. Let's do like a param or something. So let's do that. Com paste, delete this. Uh, let's call this var sub. Uh, let's call this, like, for example, a subreddit.
Let's do that. R, page not found. Let's do. Your subreddit is 10. Your subreddit is 11. So this will request like the JSON file, and then it'll create like a bunch of like you know small little forums. Because if you keep on doing routes, it's too repetitive. You want to do it like this. And then, what else can you do? You can also create another one, but it's not going to show. I'm going to do another one. Slash ID, and then we're going to console log the request that, and then we're going to do another subreddit. And it all this shows. So every time you console log, it's gonna actually console in your console. It's not a console log in the browser. So this is your console. And to console it out, I think it's this request dot params right here. Let's copy and paste that guy. Paste. Cool. Let's try it again. Yeah, it shows right here. Very cool, right? So, let's see, where can I learn about params? You always look at documentation and look at it. Params, data, text, route paths. Handlers. See it's those downloads, JSON, which is like you know, REST API stuff. So you forget, so you can read your um, REST API, and there's gonna be like a bunch of uh, JSON, which I'm not explaining. What's a JSON file? Uh, JSON file. <sighs> JSON file. Yeah, like this stuff. Versus XML. JSON's prettier. XML is like kind of dead. So yeah. Uh. And that is my tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. You can go try making your own routes. This will be the first part of the app, and it'll be continuing. Hopefully, more episodes come out. So, I'm done. Bye.